Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey Steve, whoops, I'm Camilla and I thought that now that the World Cup has ended, I would give an update on how the Readathon has gone. So if you didn't know, I kind of threw my name <laughs> into it, uh, into this Readathon when I heard about it on Alice's channel of Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. And I just I thought it was really interesting, you know, the concept of it was that, you know, if they picked countries and names, so you got assigned a country and then you would have to read a book from that country. And then whoever beat that team, then you would obviously take on that team and read a book from that team, from that country and then so on until the end. This lovely readathon was hosted by four booktubers, Mark from Booktime with Elvis, Roz of Scandaling About the Books, Jack of Rambling Raconteur and Alice of Alice and Giant Bookshelf. So thank you to all of you for hosting and organizing. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I picked France, which was like, it was a random draw, right? But I was like, oh no, it's a country obviously I've read a lot from before. I read my first language is French. So I read a lot from that country before. And I was like, oh, I won't kind of push me. And I was like, as long as they don't win, which they didn't thankfully. So Spain won, so I feel like if you had Spain, you both won and lost at this readathon. Because one, cool, your team won, but two, you only had to read one book. How sad. <laughs> but as Mark from Booktime with Elvis himself told me, you could do whatever you wanted with this. You could just, for every match, read a book from those countries, read whatever you wanted, but it kind of just got us to read from a variety of countries, which was really fun. So my country was France, so what did I read for this? I was in Canada when the kind of readathon kicked off and so, you know, I had access to lots of books in French, which was great. And I kind of rummaged through my parents' library and I ended up picking an author I've really enjoyed before, which is Eric Emmanuel Schmidt, who is, I think, French-Belgian, but I decided to just, you know, go for it and pick him as my French author. And I ended up picking up Oscar and the Pink Lady, Oscar et la Dame Rose, which honestly just, it was beautiful. I 100% recommend. It is following sort of letters that a boy is writing and he, you kind of discover really early on that he's uh, in hospice and he's dying of cancer. And it's just so, so beautiful. And obviously ended up the book crying and I had all of the feels. It was just truly, truly, um, really touching, well-written and yeah. I just loved it. Now that I'm thinking back about it, I'm just like, it was so good. <laughs> and then for the whole group stage, I was like, please lose, please lose. <laughs> Especially because some of the teams in my group were really interesting. Like Panama was one of them. I've never read anything from that country, uh, but they won at every turn. So I was like, oh God. <laughs> but finally, I think it was in the quarterfinal, they lost against Australia. So, you know, not the most exciting of countries, no offense. I've read from that country a lot. So I was like, okay. Then I realized I'm actually in the middle of reading a book by an author from Australia. So I'm in the middle of reading The Bookbinder of Jericho by Pip Williams. It kind of was a slow one, but I thought I'll kind of be picking it up a bit more seriously when I'm finishing two more books that I have kind of going on. But I'll kind of go back to it. Pip Williams wrote The Dictionary of Lost Words, which was one of my favorite, favorite books couple of years ago like so good my mom read it this year she loved it as well I'm like so happy so yeah I was very excited to get into the book of Jericho so I will kind of go on to it very soon in the semi-final Australia lost to England England's not that exciting of a country for me to get either at this stage because obviously I've read lots from that country uh, but you know I didn't have to look very hard because I was in the midst of reading two books from England at that time the first one was the stories that Grandma forgot and how I found them by Nadine Aisha Yasat, who is a friend of mine. And I finished it last night because I couldn't put it down and it's so, so good. I am so pleased for her and yeah, a huge recommend from me and I'm so glad I picked it up. Um, it is following basically, it's sort of a middle grade book. So we're following a 12 year old as she's kind of finding out secrets about her family through like her grandmother who has Alzheimer. And yeah, it was just so, touching and i was literally like weeping last night it was just beautiful i loved it and i also just started the small worlds by caleb azuma nelson who's also from england so you know that's great <laughs> um he wrote open water which was my favorite book was it last year already or the year before my goodness the years 
all blend in now but yeah so i'm excited to get started with this one uh literally started this morning so yeah the final was yesterday and england lost to spain so spain took the whole competition congrats to these ladies obviously um I, again i've read lost from that country but you know i have lots of books that i haven't read yet that are in my library from that country so i started perusing a little bit uh one of my favorite authors is carlos ruiz Zafon. i have a couple of books that are quite large so i was like don't know if i want to get into that i have the book by jericho and that was quite a large one so i decided to go with platero y yo by juan ramon jimenez uh, who is a is was i guess a Nobel Prize winner for literature from Spain and I picked this up earlier this year when we were in Spain when we went to Valencia and you know I was just looking to buy a couple of books you know locally my husband picked this one up I was like what about this I showed my father and he was literally so nostalgic because he said they read that in school so I'm very excited and it's one of my goals this year to read a book in Spanish I started a book and I lost access to it so this will be good basically two challenges in one we love that. So yeah, it's kind of turned out to be exciting to follow along this competition, to look at the different team and try to find different books. I really love that kind of read it on. It was really cool and creative. So looking forward to the next one. <laughs> we'll see whatever comes next. But again, thank you for all the book series that hosted. Let me know if you participated as well, or if you have other you can, recommendation from these countries. Or did you have a country that you'd never read from? Like, what did you read? I would love to know that because there are some countries I was like, ooh, I would really struggle to find a, a book on that country. So that's really, really cool. And it kind of gets us out there and open our horizons. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, hey, see you back. Bye.